Yes, I'm a beautiful evening to our wonderful viewers to watch us right now. Don't carry that same Ogunga program come on our way as it is hot. And um, that political program with the sun channel with them. Um, issues will affect us for Budo Nigeria. And then today on them, um, at least we will go the double way of uh, giving us any interesting stories, um, at least that uh, will get for us solid stories for that today. And then uh, at least by the time we do it, by the time we also sunshine, we now these stories, we we'll also give them that opportunity to also do it, in, uh, to also call in and, uh, and contribute. And for our the watchers for Go TV channel 98, the watchers for Star Times channel 195, My TV channel 17, Free to Air channel 57, or they do the STV. Channel 259, that's a Bunga program where at least uh, with the sun channel with uh, political activities that would not carry coming our way. Uh, my name is Vasi Chen. My name remains Unkubi. And this is Ask Idi Hot. Make we no waste time. Make we do it. Make we quickly go through the story. That we, I know say a lot of people they want to say, uh, my brother Chiku, they were in there. Well, uh, Chiku, they go for one official assignment. Uh, but to get somebody to say, a guest will go join us very, very soon. We'll also follow us. Uh, deliberate on this particular um, issues we'll get, on this particular topic that we'll get. And also talk and um, one of the other things we, she they also do on her own part to also at least um, add the value to our society, will be Nigeria. And uh, the first story we'll get for now. Get, get to do with uh, waiting um, one of our former pre president, that is a uh, former president um, of Boston John, and uh, where he come and talk, say, look, uh, say, uh, for the cultural day, people are say, we know they get, get we know, women know they too, they involved uh, in, in the issue of um, politics. And, and why, why they talk this one? In they talk this one for one particular gathering of, um, for one particular gathering of over 500 um, women, and the women that is within Nigeria and diaspora. He come and talk, say, look, say, time don't reach for Nigerian women to do it today, actively involved uh, when it comes to and um, political issues and then um, at least then uh, if we also look at uh, if we also look at statistically look at from from 1999, how much of involvement uh, women don't do for politics? And um, this is one of the reasons why they call us, say, look, uh, women, men are they, they involved. At least they make, also they, they make men, they also they give women support. So at, um, at least some kind of decisions where men know they feel take. At least women go feel support. Say, okay, make we do it like this, make we do it like that. Because um, uh, they don't let really talk this thing, say, Anybody who is born woman, you could not say born an entire world. But anybody who is born man, see a family in born. And from that, I'm going to also give now this particular story where we say, well, uh, some people go talk to now, at least they go make, uh, say that interesting story where we say, you could suppose make our belly the sweet. And you get to do with them, um, and the approval um, of $1 billion, the way Oga President don't approve that, Oga President Buhari, he don't approve $1 billion, where they will take the way, where they will take by arms. What well, they will take by hand to ensure, say, the issue about insurgency, the issue about Boko Haram, uh, any issue about insecurity, they address them. And we did very much aware of one particular action way, uh, way play out um, so a couple of months back, where the governors and the, uh, the, the federal and uh, this is the executive council sit down, talk, say, look, they will go approve them, um, at least they will go take um, one billion dollars from one from one of our, uh, our um, this, uh, from one of our resources. Take ingest them into the buying of arms. So at, um, at least then the issue of this insecurity, especially Boko Haram, will be case study here. So they will find they will take curtail them and then bring them down to a particular minimum um, level. And uh, that one got to do with uh, the approval of them. Um, one billion dollar away, other president don't approve to take buy arms. Uh, without wasting time, man, uh, make we do it. Make we go on this quick break. When we come back, we still get two more interesting, interesting stories over one such now. And by then, we'll really say our guests also go down join us uh, to discuss all of these issues. Will they come? Me and the <laughs> Welcome back. The program remains as it is hot. Once again, for our viewers who watch us for um, Go TV Channel 98, they watch us for Star Time Channel 195, uh, My TV Channel 17, Free to Watch Channel 57, or you do TS TV Channel 259, that Obunga program with the Sun Channel with them. Issues with concern, politics, and other related uh, matter now don't carry come on our way. Uh, before we go to that particular break, we'll be telling us, say, uh, we'll get uh, at least um, uh, two interesting people, at least guests, who will go join us uh, for the program. And uh, at least now, two ladies, uh, and um, they, they actually represent um, a particular organization uh, and the best way they way they closest to me uh, her name na Adiola uh, Ajala uh, she be volunteer and also she be a representative of this particular organization I'll go also get uh, okay Rike um, and I uh, will be also a member of um, the same uh, will be also volunteer and also member of the same um, um, will be also rep of the same um, organization as well and um, now welcome to us in a hot thank you 
Yes, uh, before we actually go on that particular break, I'll be the I'll be the do is that they give them um, stories and uh, political issues about it. Uh, the major interesting stories that happen for Bodo Nigeria and then um, at least we'll still get two more to go. But before we even say we we'll they go further into these two, at least I go on try get on our own opinion on these particular issues and them um, and that one get the first one we we'll talk about get to do with them um, within former president. President um, Olusha Gobasanjo, waiting to come and come talk for one particular gathering where he hold with um, women them um, about five hundred women within Nigeria and them um, for diaspora and they see he can't talk one particular thing we 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 be say we don't emphasize on in, in, for a very long time and we get to do with them um, women's involvement inside politics. Okay, if I go ask Una, eh, then this particular saying where they talk say local say any person who born woman say you know say in born an entire world. But I'm born a born man, it's in our family, in born. Which means, what is it, it, it very symbolic? It means a woman, so at least they say they know how to take care of um, a, particular, a society. If you give them responsibility, they will feel handled and well. But if I wait in this press, though, the former president don't talk, eh? what do you feel, say, be the role of women when it comes to politics? How actively women supposed to be when it comes to Nigerian politics? Okay, I think um, some of the representation we will see uh -huh. for now, it's impressive, but we can do more. We can do more. Okay. Yes, we can do more in the sense that we should um, encourage women to come out more. Okay. Yes, when it comes to um, um, vying for elective posts, mm -hmm. make women they come out more to come and represent other women. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes even if we feel, say, women don't show before mm -hmm. for some areas, sometimes we feel like the representation not day enough. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes some of the people in the grassroots mm -hmm. are still complaining that mm -hmm. there should be more representation for women in higher places. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, she you get what she talk about um, more representation of women in higher places. But if we call, so if I go ask you, are uh, your daily, if we could bring them down to um, our own orientation as a society, as a country. If we look at a lot of people talk, say maybe one of the reasons why um, we you know they actually to see women for politics here in our in our world now because of say. Uh, then they mention a lot of factors have been mentioned. One, they will mention gender issues, then we we'll mention religion, they will mention them um, at least an um, issue about um, cultural values. And if you also look at going by the society we don't live in, going by the world we don't evolve into. So it is say at least then um, these things, so it is say all these things with them um, highlight, suppose be hindrance. Going by the fact say if you look at other countries. Their own development, their involvement of women for politics, they more advanced. Can you say this is supposed to be excused in ensuring for women not to be involved for politics? You know, supposed to really be excused, okay. actually. But the thing we say, women ourselves, we no support our fellow women. Mm. So if women vie for posts now, say in carry um, political posts, mm -hmm. if we see women will go vote for them, they don't go past more than one, mm. which no make sense at all. Mm. So I think say. For every all the excuse that they give, no mm -hmm. really matter at all because what a man can do actually, a woman, a woman can, do can do better. Okay. Okay. So if they give women opportunity, make we carry political um, post, mm -hmm. make women like us, make they come out, come support us. Mm -hmm. We need support. Mm -hmm. Now support we need. Mm -hmm. So I think say that one that the main cocoa. One of the major reasons. Yes, main of major reasons. Mm -hmm. Make women come out, support other women, mm -hmm. because if we support other women like us. Mm -hmm. Progress go day. We go we go day successful for anything where we they do. Mm. So that one gone 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 Nadine. Now women like us go say be the main problem for ourselves. Mm. Um, um may, I, may, I, may I throw the question to you now briefly. Okay, she mentioned something we get to do it, women not supporting women. And um, maybe I know well I know go talk say uh, we not no get love for each other. We know say love, but some kind sometimes women they also get their own differences. But um, in trying to move for, forward, in now also trying to at least seek for um solution and um, a, a solution we say we will feel say ourselves come together, agree on certain decision, agree on a collective decision for us to move. Waiting with those major things, we will also need to tell our women out there. So I make them also know say, look, oh, say the responsibility will not carry. A heavy pass make na they fight each other. Say if they give na that opportunity, at least they say see waiting and waiting and waiting they can achieve. I believe I want make you also talk, talk to women when they watch us right now. Make them know the kind of strength and the the the, the amount of um, strength we then gather. We see if they give them opportunity to say oh, yeah, take over political position, they will feel doing well. Okay, well I feel that um, we women mm -hmm. then we be the 
the reason why we know fear encourage each other sometimes because some of us feel say some people they are not um they are not grassroots enough or okay. that sometimes they are not they don't call the support of women they mm. call the support of men mm. to come and help because they feel that it's men that know the area or know the terrain yeah. more yes whereas we have women who are silently mm. helping others mm. but they may not always come out um, um, in front to mm -hmm. let everybody know how they, they do them. Mm -hmm. So I think what we need to do is reach out to more women, mm -hmm. to invite them, to have dialogue, to mm -hmm. have meetings, like town hall meetings with women. Then women associations should mm -hmm. come together, you know, merge, come together, go, go to mosques, churches, preach, you know, tell women to come out more, to hold certain political posts that can help us, that can help us grow as well, mm -hmm. so that we would the society will see women as being able to achieve things yes. rather than as always being maybe um, um, at home or doing other domestic things. Mm. We can have a say in how we are being governed or what is being done to make life better mm. for women generally. Mm. Okay, thank you very, very much. And um, may, uh, the men will go straight to the second one. Um, at least one may also go through this thing quickly so that we also feel, look at uh, other um, areas. And um, this one gets to do with um, within, um, at least then the approval of them. Um, one billion dollars um, with the uh, with Baga President Mohamed Borido approved um, um, to buy arms and then um, we be uh, some couple of months back uh, we we know we did much, very much aware of um, all particular meeting where they agree say look uh, we need to at least um, take um, one billion out of um, our, our particular resource where they save money at least then uh, take buy arms and the arms where they want buy majorly now to ensure say, at least that uh, they further strengthen the security issues where the insecurity issues where will they get them um, for night for Nigeria here yeah, and then um, at least the um, Boko Haram still they very very still they very very by a viral for for the northeast and then um, they see they disturb and just recently we did very much aware of them um, the the Dapchi uh, kidnap and a couple of other things okay but then um, we don't also see all these things and then um, in also trying to ensure say, at least them um, we get a coexisting um, society where where people go feel live together uh, uh, at, at least them. Um, if you go, if if I don't know if you go, actually if you talk, what with those measures? How you go expect make this make government actually channel this money? So at um, the essence of this money, make you not be saying the end. You go enter from one person's pocket. We know, we know they, they come they sing song on top, say okay, we use it for this, but the reason why we what they say then channel them into uh, we know Sam. What if we what at least which kind of measure you go to say government supposed to carry to make sure say, this money then spend them well. The measure where I think say government fee carry mm. make the money mm. waiting they won't use the money do mm. make they achieve them. Mm. Now because if I say me they get trustworthy person, I know understand how I feel put down mm. <laughs> because even if they get trustworthy person, you know say the money People still go pass from under. one process, one to, process another. to another. Yes. Mm. So it go difficult small for this kind of country every day. Well, uh, it, 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 she said it go difficult, but then uh, there's a, what do they call them, um, accountability. Yes. There's a, what do they, what do they call them, um, transparency. transparency. At least um, for us to also ensure, say, people don't talk, say, President Mohammed, but it's not a person who say, if you look at uh, corruption, no day in body, he's uh, very clean. Uh, if we get somebody down there at the helm of affair, we'll be say, at least say, in, in record, don't show say, uh, he's not corrupt. At least, which kind of measure? At least, somebody don't. Which kind of step you go to make sure say you go carry to make sure say this money here, make now make sure say you now spend them well. At least, make I also hear from you on that. Okay. Well, for me, I believe that um, there are certain measures that they can put in place, like I'm um, setting up a committee okay. or like a task force okay. to ensure that once the um, um, transactions have been carried out mm. at the stage of procuring the arms. They are able to buy and ensure through those um, um, task force or committees that it comes in, it doesn't fall in the wrong hands, and it is being um, used for what they want to use it for, mm -hmm. rather than it being channeled to other areas mm -hmm. where no good day is useful. And to be able to combat uh, 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 terrorism, they need to have very good technology mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. to be able to help to 
um, locate the areas, detect, detect what is wrong. at least yes. bring in um, some kind of intelligence. We will yes. also help. Yes. Okay, thank you. At least you don't also address that one well. And um, the talk story will get will also get um, may have, at least for for our viewers say uh, get to do with um, one particular action with the governor of um, Edo State take uh, that Mr. Godwin of Aseki where he sack um, at least the commissioner we we the in charge of um, the commissioner of um, environment and all that and sustainability. He sack him want to say. Uh, there is a particular protest where they go on among uh, sweepers, where they sweep um, in those states, where they protest, they, they owe them. And then, though they never actually feel attached um, the reason of that side to this particular race, but a lot of people you talk say, now, nah, now, nah, within custom. Okay, it's still talking about um, um, accountability to an extent, and um, also bring, relating it to, to this particular action where the governor looked and said, okay, because you're not playing your role effectively the way you're supposed to, um, okay, come out from this position. How much of this particular action we suppose they see from government? Because it's just like say government will get, or perhaps the existing government will get. Not to actually probably hear the yearning of people going by some kind of things, with some policies or some ministries where they where do they go the way best people want. At least with this particular action, what other uh, which can actually go expect make government on the larger scale? May they take at least may they learn from this one to know so okay, these are the way to go about things. If this person know they do work well. Off. Yes, I support what um, the Edo State Governor did mm. in the sense that if the people who are supposed to, who are employed and mm -hmm. who are supposed to get their wages, if mm -hmm. they are not getting their wages, mm -hmm. whoever is responsible is responsible for it mm -hmm. should be brought to um, 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 account. Yes, you should then suppose make a make your account, and if he is even found guilty, if possible, receive a fine or penalty or be sent to. Um, um, prison like mm. it's supposed to be. I think mm. our government should look into this kind of, um, um, it's it's something that is praiseworthy. Mm -hmm. And our government should look into it and ensure that there's so many areas where we seem to fall short mm. in all these things. Mm. And if we have proper investigative method, methods that are applied, and you find the guilty culprits, they should actually be brought to book. Mm. But, uh, uh, well, it, um, no, if, uh, if this question is actually at least bad director to you. Um, beyond just what we they see now, and a lot of people talk, so, okay, uh, maybe the kind of system they practice, the plus now, brotherly kind of system, we say, well, a bro, and our brother, well, in the moment, we just forgive and make him continue. Mm -hmm. A typical example, if I will feel it later, um, it got to do with um, at least um, one way play out recently, where the press do go and um, bin and um, bin way, where they come and say, okay, I got press do, uh, IG, I got address way talk to make you call reset to here, address the issue of um, um, Boko Haram. Say, say, make you carry load, come here, come make sure say he live here, make sure say this particular issue, they settled. Uh, but uh, immediately, in come, you know, even spend night there, the following this thing, um, he, he leave. Then, then, then tell Oga Prezo this particular reality, and then the Oga Prezo come to say, hey, she, she, you know, get such report from, so nobody tell on this kind of thing, which means at least that lack of information directly to Oga Prezo too. Oh, if we go also look at politics of, um, of, um, of um, emotion, or politics of um, brotherly, uh, she, uh, if we continue in this particular way, she is not in say perhaps you go lead us to where, which kind of position or probably the kind of condition where they say you go feel lead that condition into. If we know they take decision, the way we supposed to come. You, you know, go lead us to a better place. So. Hmm. If we not take um, waiting, decisive we action, not dis we not take decisive action mm -hmm. because say for politics, you know say. When you are meant to lead people, not mm. be only yourself you the lead. Yes. So make you not put family, be brother, be anything attached to it. Attached to it. Mm. Anybody way of way commit uh, a certain offense, mm. make they put them to justice. Okay, this is your fine. This is mm. what you are meant to go through. Make mm. we do it like that because we have to run a fair and transparency um, transparent, transparent government. government. In this way, people we are representing, they would be they would be satisfied with whatever the government is doing. Mm. But if the government, they are not running a fair and transparent government, mm -hmm. it will help you because mm. people, they will keep screaming and shouting. Mm. So make no put any brother, be any sister thing into government because okay. we, they represent people. Exactly, they represent people. And then on that particular note of representing people, make we also go represent the market, uh, make we go note in the play out for market, at least by going on this quick break. When we come back, this matter continues. We will give now the final story. Go also at least them look into at least some of the responsibilities where then they also they play in adding values to the society. Make we go with a come.
Facts and welcome back. The program remains as it is hot. And then for our viewers, watch us for Go TV Channel 98. Star Channel 195, the watch us for My TV Channel 17. Free to watch Channel 57. Or they do the TV Channel 259. That's a bunga program. Where they sun channel with them political matters. Now we don't carry come on our way. And I will be telling and say yes, we will get an um, interesting guest. We will get guests that would also join them in the conversation. At least one of them don't also join us. Now one person don't come out. So that another person will fit them and um, join. And the name now, Ibrahim Muhammad. Uh, Ibrahim. You're welcome to us in the heart. Thank you, thank you. You're for welcome. Me. And uh, quickly, make no waste time. Um, at least, may, may I also get your own opinion on these particular stories okay. where we don't get their own views about. And the first one gets to do with rating former president, President Mohammed, um, I think Mohammed, President of, of Asanjo. We think you talk about um, women involvement in politics. And um, at least, say, thank God for women to be actively involved inside politics. If we talk this for one gathering, we have over 500 women um, come. And you call the advice women, made them get, made them they actively involved. Okay, if you also probably define the strength of women for inside politics, what do you go where am? What do you that? What do so, so, so far so good? How you go take a, a, assess the strength of women inside politics for Nigeria? Um, basically, I think, I strongly believe that women will do better. Mm. Sorry, I'm speaking grammar. Okay. Women can, women will do better in politics. Um, I was actively involved in politics a few years ago, and um, I saw the strength of women. Mm. When we did for meeting, mm. now women they plenty pass. Mm. But when it gets to that leadership role, mm -hmm. we find them wanting. Mm. They we don't find want, them wanting. wanting. What yeah, if they it don't... actually lead to that point? So I think, say, I if think, don't they see them at this at the early surface and they show so much strength? That particular place where they're supposed to explore that strength, then they call, then they, they, what they, they, they call, I, I think it's in our, in our fear. Fear from fear, their own angle. Yes, fear of unknown. Like, men has been doing it, make them, they do and they go. So you know, just, probably facing our cultural issues, religious issues, and all that, also they add up to this. Yeah, these are, these are elements that mm. added up to women lacking behind. Mm. Because if not for our culture, mm. like, you know, in, in our culture, Men are the leaders. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So women will like, okay, men will not do this thing. Men will leave our men. Men that they, 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 they lead us, they go. Mm -hmm. So that's where the, um, the limitation point is. Mm -hmm. So we need them to come up mm -hmm. and make them join politics, make them enter, because women, they have good leadership role. Mm -hmm. If you put women for, for, for leadership role, mm -hmm. you will see... You will see, look at Dora Akuili, for example. Yes. You know, yeah, look at, Dora yeah, yeah. You, you saw what she did at mm -hmm. NAVDAC. So mm -hmm. I believe women, will, they will definitely do better if they can come on board. Okay, and from that one, we'll also go quick, quickly to this one. Um, um, the president all finally approved um, $1 billion. Uh, they don't sign $1 billion, make the take and buy arms so that they will fit take and for that channel arm into the fight against them. Um, um, in, in the insurgency and then um, Boko Haram and um, begin with the way they actually play out um, for Bodo Nigeria. Okay, going by this particular action, if I go bring up from this particular angle, uh, a lot of people don't question this particular thing. How sincere is this particular approval of one billion um, dollars? She does, she not out of sincerity, she not want to control it, won't fight uh, Boko Haram. Haram. I be, now, they, now probably they take him um, to probably take promote um, some kind Event where they come up, which is like the election. Like, like election, they so come uh, up. if you go, we are say, say, if I go, I don't know your <laughs> own opinion, very different. But if you look people's opinion as against and uh, you know, waiting on the door approved, where you go, where you go, one stand on that. I know, say, this is not the first time that such money has been approved, you mm. know, so many monies have been approved in the past, and we've not seen results, mm. yeah. We saw some changes, but that is not where we are going. We've not really see what we are meant to see, what we are supposed to see. Mm. So this money, mm -hmm. if you they bring them out, mm -hmm. you suppose get some some guideline where mm -hmm. you go put for ground, say make them they take money to this money, mm. so that mm. they go take and do exactly what they want to use and do. Mm. Nobody say you go release one billion. Mm. Then in the next few weeks, you not go hear anything again. The mm. next thing you hear is Boko Haram don't bomb somewhere mm. again. So it needs close monitoring. Mm. So that's that's okay. And they're talking about close monitoring, and yeah. uh, we we also chipped in issues. I mean transparency, chipped in accountability. Uh, but in a society, uh, in the country, where we say we don't really feel as certain, or probably feel define the strength of our um, accountability or our transparency. Uh, it say, say somehow, somehow, we will feel see the end result of that money. Yeah. See, um, accountability and transparency starts from you and I. Mm. 
from our home. Mm. So how transparent are you to the people you are living with? Mm -hmm. Because you are the same person that will contest tomorrow mm -hmm. and get to that seat. Mm -hmm. You are the same person that will be appointed tomorrow mm -hmm. to get to that seat. Mm -hmm. So if you are not transparent now, you won't be transparent when you get there. Mm. So largely, it depends on people because people make community yes, and yes. from people we get the government. So mm. we need to be transparent. Mm. It's a challenge for all of us. Okay. Let's be transparent so that when we get to that stage, mm. you know. We need to be transparent. Thank yeah. you very much. And um, maybe we quickly go to, to this one. Um, this one gets to do with, um, I don't know whether I hear this news about um, the Edo State Governor, um, Oga Godwin, you know, about the Kiwi sacking commissioner, uh, commissioner of um, environment. That is, uh, we're talking about uh, Mr. Regina um, Okun. Um, over what particular protest we play out, um, I think that was either yesterday, uh, we sweepers association, People where they sweep, come and come, they protest, say, they never pay yeah. them their salary, they never, they owe them for some months and all that. But people don't talk, if people don't talk, say, we don't really feel attached the reason of the sack to this. But somehow, somehow, everything still channels to that. This channel to that. Okay, but well, we can also bring up to this angle, so, okay, if the, seeing a decisive action taken by the governor to talk, say, okay, you are not being credible enough, you know they do your work, how will also fit at least ensure, say, this same responsibility, or you taking an action? He cut across all every sector of leadership because there has been a loud cry that look, oh, the ministers or a few ministers where really, they don't assign responsibilities to, say then they actually carry out the road the way they're supposed to carry them. At least going by this particular action, what do you go also expect make the government on the federal level? At least which can they also expect me they make them carry? You know, trying to learn it from this particular action way, Edo State don't carry. I think Edo State has done very well. This is a right step in the right direction. You know, if you if you found someone wanting, mm. the next thing is let the culprit be punished. Mm. You know, let the culprit so that it will serve as a deterrent, mm -hmm. as an example mm -hmm. to others. Okay, so if this person can be sacked. Definitely my job is not safe. If I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do, mm -hmm. then go sack me too. Mm. So this is a mirror. Go federal government should mirror this kind of, um, uh, um, you know, they should mirror action. this kind of it's in action, mm. you know. So if anybody is not doing what he's supposed to do, maybe mm. there will be um, a kind of warning, like a query. Mm. We have found you once, you are not doing this, you are not doing this, you are not doing this. Mm -hmm. The next time this happens, you are going to, be punished. Yeah. So is a right is a is a right step mm. in the right direction. Okay, and then finally, this final story we'll get get to do with um, at least um, the minister of um, defense and um, that is um, Oga Danali. Uh, we don't come out call action Nigeria and say make Nigerians relax. Say um, that um, only get away still remain for for Boko, Boko Haram and um, Boko Haram get the Dutchy girls. There were over one hundred and ten girls with their kidnapped. We at least uh, about um, one hundred and six there about we we'll come back. We we'll uh, we'll say that three about three either fight for the process. Say that remaining guest, say they will make sure say that guest could definitely um, come back um, to the to the parents. And then um, if, if we also look at um, at least uh, it, it cause it we well, at least we will first applaud the action of the government yes. in ensuring say okay this part this girls this number of girls come back to their to their respective parents. And the, the only guy will remain now. Of course we know the reasons a lot of, a lot of us know the reasons why she's still being held back on insisting on the fact that, look, I cannot change my religion and all that. Yeah. Okay, but going beyond this, and they're going at least holding government accountable for, for the kind of things where they talk, at least, should there be a limit or, should there be a limit or a duration to when we should expect this girl back? Because we will not feel probably they bring in Chibok girls matter here. But yeah. because Chibok girls, there are a lot of people who will say it did not play out under this particular government. Yeah. But see, it That's is still it. the responsibility of this of same government, government to make sure they don't. But in, in, in giving us uh, assurance and then uh, playing out that assurance, at least then, uh, how well will this two go well? I mean, how well will fit balance so that at least Nigeria go day well relaxed, say yes, and hell, now don't talk and we don't see the action. Yeah, I know security issue is a very technical issue mm -hmm. and uh, the Minister of Defense might be trying to be secured, like mm -hmm. not wanting to give out too many information mm -hmm. so that it doesn't jeopardize their yeah, efforts. efforts. So they can only come out and say, don't worry, this girl will come back. Mm. This, you know, they, they might not be able to give us a duration. But we as Nigerians, mm -hmm. we want to hear. Mm -hmm. We want to hear. Mm -hmm. But they don't want to give us such information. Mm -hmm. They don't want to give too much information so that it doesn't jeopardize their security uh, measures. Mm -hmm. So um, I'll just implore them to please, as they are saying it, they should mm -hmm. put some actions behind it. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't just tell us and go to sleep. Mm -hmm. 
they should say it, they should work towards it and ensure that that lady comes out because, you know, no matter how we want to look at it, we still have to look at it from the religious angle mm -hmm. because they will say Islam, I am a Muslim, and Islam preaches that there is no compulsion in religion, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to talk, be talking about Boko Haram or how the activities is mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. But the Minister of Defense should please ensure that there are actions behind Be his speeches, his promises. Mm. And I pray that the girls should come back mm -hmm. as soon as we can have them. Okay, okay. at least uh, we don't actually look into these matters. We don't deliberate on these stories. We, we will carry them. And then, um, we will also not look at least th those works will now they do. And um, at least, um, a kick to feed. Yeah. Now, one now event we now don't we, we now don't put out right now. And then, if I go one like here from um, Madam um, Adiola, a waiting kick to feed day all about. Okay, kick to feed na program for um, like football tournament novelty match. Okay. Where we have different teams okay. that come together to play for a cup. Okay. And um, the money raised, we hope to get a lot of people to come for the program so that we can raise money for charity because mm. what City Court does um, is to um, we have a, a segment that we call um, Street Kitchen, City Call Street okay. Kitchen, or My Street Kitchen. Okay. And um, in such a program, we go to different areas that are ravaged by poverty, less privileged um, um, communities. Mm -hmm. We go to feed people. We actually have a street kitchen. We make food, and we feed people there. And we also empower some, some of the people in the community who have maybe businesses that they have that is either dwindling, dying, or they want to revive their business, or mm -hmm. they, they have a passion mm -hmm. for something. And then we identify such individuals and we empower them in mm -hmm. the best way that we can in, with okay. our own little resources. Okay. Um, so the Kick to Feed is actually like a charity fundraiser as well to raise funds for that street kitchen mm -hmm. and some of the other programs that we have later on in the year. Mm -hmm. It's actually to raise funds to help feed the less privileged and empower the less privileged ones in our society. Okay, uh, she said something about um, empowering. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, well, uh, the money is being raised and then um, you are empowered. But uh, uh, if in the process, I, I don't know how long this is done, but before now, Nado actually probably don't organize this thing before now. I've been at the first maiden edition with this. Okay, so basically what happened is there is a project called My Street Kitchen. Okay. Um, founded by my good friend Aisha Adams. Okay. You know, we go on the streets, we cook there, mm -hmm. and we feed people. Mm -hmm. So it's been very hard. Yeah, it's been hard raising funds because what we have to do is a monthly event. Okay, so monthly event. Monthly event. Oh, so, okay. so what we usually do, we, you know, we task ourselves, mm -hmm. then we raise awareness, we solicit for funds. for funds, you know, and people donate. So we cook all these things with their donations. Mm. So we thought, okay, because Nigerians, not Nigerians, maybe people generally, mm. uh, it, it's hard for us to part away with our fund. You know, you need to be convinced that, okay, so your fund will be used for this and that. So mm. we thought, okay, it could be a win-win situation. Mm. Why not invite people to come out, you know, have fun, and while you're having fun, you are still donating to a particular cause. Mm. So that was why we, we came about the event, Kick mm. to Feed. So people are going to come out, they're going to play football. Yes, they are going to buy tickets. We have tickets for 3,000 adult mm. children, 2,000. So all the proceeds from this event, we still go back to the street kitchen, where we can continue um, our project mm. going all around. So we go from point A to point B, okay. like from Lagos. Like last month, we were in Wari. Okay. In, two months ago, we were in Kano. Okay. We go to Ibadan, you know, ghettos, and we cook there and we feed people. Imagine someone who has not eaten for, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm, for two mm -hmm, days, mm -hmm. and you are just coming on the street and you are giving the person a plate of rice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you and I are worried that we don't have that money. We've not been able to sign that mm -hmm, contract. Mm -hmm. We don't have that deal. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what we are worried about. Mm -hmm. When we get to, they serve us rice. Say no, I, I know they eat rice today. Nah. Yeah. Nah, and that food, you beans, want it, I want it. Man, but yeah. when you go out and you see people, all they care about is just give me that plate of food. Mm. I just want to eat. Mm. So that was the reason behind my street kitchen. And that is why we are organizing this event, Kick to Feed, okay. where we want people to come out, have fun, then okay. 
donate to okay. um, to the course. Uh, Adela, you were going to say something. Yes, um, I was going to say that the cake to feed, this is the maiden edition. Okay, but the, the street, maiden. Yes, but the street kitchen has been in place since um, January 2017. Oh, okay. Yes, and then, like you said, we had found certain ways that we could go around instead of always asking continuously every month for mm -hmm. funds mm -hmm. from people mm -hmm. and then we could organize programs that people could enjoy. We also mm -hmm. have our Bake for Charity mm -hmm. where we bake mm -hmm. and then we sell to the public mm -hmm. for charity. Um, uh, this particular project now, uh, is, is there a long plan? Now get a long plan, a future plan for this particular project. And then secondly, okay, make, make, make a probably first get that particular, okay. is there a long plan for this particular project? Yeah, so this is going to be a yearly event. Yes. It's going to happen here, every year, every okay. year. And we have other events, but this particular one will happen yearly. Yearly. Yes. Okay, so and then want... yearly. If I go also further ask, eh? okay, you said something about entrepreneurship. Yes. Which means empowering people. Yes. Okay, is there also is a process good the way we say, okay, after my empower, when I go to follow up on these people yes. now empower. I mean, I'll just say, okay, uh, CEO, CEO, um, okay, CEO, um, we don't give you a uh, go to monitor, go to take, go take and start up anything you want start up, or go take and do anything you want to. Okay, so um, two months ago we were at. Ibutemeta. Was it two more or three months ago? Ibutemeta. And there was this particular guy. He's an Igbo guy. Okay. And he's the he's the head of the Agbero Omota in that area. And he disrupted our program. Right. Yes. He doesn't want us to set up. But we eventually set up. And we went to Makoko. So fortunately they are in the same area. We went to Makoko the following months. And this same guy came and he saw us. And he was the one that assisted us to set up and do everything we did. So after the event, he came to us and he was like, guy, I don't want to be, I don't want to be a street boy again. I like what you are doing. Can you, can you help me? Mm. Can you empower me? So what do you want to do? He said, you want, you want to be a baba. No problem. We carry and go one baba shop, where we know. Say, mm. maybe you train this guy. Mm. Then we've been monitoring him since then. Mm. He has left that ghetto now. Mm. You know, say, I, I don't want to be ghetto mm. boy again. Mm. So he has changed. And this shows that our program is not is not religiously biased. Okay. It's not ethnically biased. Okay. We don't care who you are. As as much as you are human, mm. we we are going to help you mm. if we are capable of doing that. Mm. So apart from that, we've empowered some people, some women, and we we monitor them. Okay. We go there, we go there bi weekly to check on the business that we set them up on. Okay, okay. So there is a monitoring team. And, okay, and so kick to feed. When in the when kick to feed they come up and then um, seventh of April at the Fun Factory and Fun Front of, of Admiralty Ad, Way. Lake Admiralty Way. Okay, seventh. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, this weekend. Yes. This oh, weekend. Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. Okay. This Saturday, next okay. two days, okay. and ticket is available. You, you uh, can no follow. Wala, no wala. Yeah. yeah, they take care of no wala. Okay. At least um, they go know where they will do this when that time reach. Yeah. Well, um, thank you very, very much, um, Oga Ibrahim thank and them. Um, thank you for them. I do a for at least them um, coming around them um, to also to at least talk about them. Um, Issues with the with the affect of Bodo Nigeria and also the the event when I also carry when I the plan now at least now they add up now only two values to, yes, to, the, to society. the society yes. and then for our viewers there where they watch us for house them I know say a lot of that with the event say look why we no open phone line for now to also call in and contribute for the issues the stories we don't we will table that we will discuss well um at, maybe because I say time no today but to the promise now say at least um, on Monday we will come again with another interesting edition of your your program at least. Uh, your your this thing. Uh, next time um, Monday, Monday we will come up with another beautiful edition of um, your program. Ask it a hot. Uh, one say um, bye bye. We also also take this opportunity. Also thank him. Um, we um, can, your sec your third person. We also yeah, join Lija. at least um, for yeah. also coming around as well. So till Monday we will we will go see us again. On a bye bye. To enjoy more of this our we'll get videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.